Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. We are going to do a love reading, see what's going on with you and the person that's on your mind. We're going to get some oracle cards and then we're going to do a feelings reading, see how you're feeling, how they're feeling, and the outcome of those feelings. So remember that the energies can always go both ways. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, <clears throat> excuse me, that's below as well. Alright, so what's going on around Capricorn and the person that's on their mind? What is the, what's going on currently around Capricorn and their person? Alright, so let's just shuffle it a little bit. A little bit. Oh. Somebody may be kind of um, hiding how they feel or like drinking a lot, suppressing a lot. Um, things may not be coming across as like they really are right now. Alright, so Capricorn love. What is the current energy around Capricorn's current love situation? A lot of seeds. <laughs> Alright, card for Capricorn, please. Thank you. You got settling, accepting less than you deserve. And you also have round and around cycle of highs and low emotions with no resolve. So it may feel like things are kind of just going on repeat. Like one day things may seem really good. Another day they may seem like kind of more shittier. So make sure you're just like knowing your worth. It's, you know, so you may be settling. So it's making like these days. I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying even if it's like, you know, the, letting, the way someone talks to you or treats you or the amount of respect that is like shown. Remember, there needs to be like that mutual respect. You have distance, physical or emotional distance hurting the connection. So there may be some type of separation. So kind of feeling that loss, that loneliness. You also have just friends. You are better off as friends. Nice. All right. Give me more cards for Capricorn, please. This, for some could have been a thing where it's like a friendship and then it kind of turned into something more but sometimes when you get in like like that comfort zone might have uh, gotten met in someone's situation you have abusive emotional or physical abuse so this distance is separation somebody may be kind of like keeping things at arm's length but saying like just enough of what like they need to say telling you what you need to hear oh you have destined this relationship is meant to be so you have better off as friends and then destined so it feels like one way or another this person you know is meant to be in your life some things may yeah forbidden love this relationship is frowned upon by many. There could be more things that are kind of going on in the background, more elements. You also have situationship, just having fun, no commitment. So it may be, you know, a situation where boundaries really aren't completely like intact. Hazy vision, things are not being seen clearly. So it's kind of, you know, there could be like a denial of reality there. And also unfulfilled emotional or physical needs unmet. And that could go back um, to this physical or emotional distance is hurting the connection. And then also um, the abuse, abuse of emotional or physical abuse, emotional or physical needs are unmet. And physical or emotional distance is hurting the connection. So really coming together. Um, and maybe that's where somebody is just settling and kind of accepting the situation where it is and how it's sitting, how it's lying and just thinking like, oh, this is, this is how it is. This is like how it's going to be. But that's where that thing's not being seen clearly, seeing things for what they really are. Because this may be, you know, one day things are good, one day things are kind of low. 
and it may be frowned upon because like I mean it's possible for some like you know um things may not kind of you may not be getting all that you deserve and all that you're worth so you know others may kind of look to that and you know but there's that hazy vision things are not being seen clearly so it's kind of like um trying to fight the current situation the current energy all right capricorn so what are the current feelings around the situation for capricorn and the person that is on their mind please how is capricorn feeling how is this person on their mind feeling and what is the outcome of those feelings it's almost like accepting accepting reality because it really feels like this causes somebody a great deal of of pain even if that's just like emotionally and that may begin to affect like other areas of life all right so how is capricorn feeling Oh, the magician did come out reverse. I don't read reversals, but um, for some, you may have kind of gave up. But the magician is there. So how is this person feeling? Oh, shoot. The Six of Cups and the Empress. Well, I'll tell you what, the feelings are real. They are legit, but there could have been some distance or some pain, some type of separation that was there. Um, the feelings are real though. There could even be a situation where like children are involved or you could have known this person for a while. You have the magician. They have the six of cups. They're one to be like in your energy, in your presence. They definitely see you as somebody that's like, you know, very special with the empress there. You're not just, you're one of a kind. You're very unique. But when it comes to feelings um, and expressing this, these feelings somebody gets nervous somebody could have i mean disconnected this could have been quiet for a while all right show me the magician for how capricorn is feeling remember the energies can always be reversed but the queen of pentacles fell out that is your energy so uh show me oh no 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 tell me more about the magician please it feels like you want to nurture this. Like you may, um, the Queen of Pentacles is the one who holds it down. Very stable, very grounded, very rooted. The Six of Swords. For some, I mean, you could even want to travel to see this person. Even if it's moving in, but it looks like you want things to move towards like an area. It could be another Earth sign for sure. But this is a very stable couple. A very grounded couple. A very secure couple. Um... But somebody may not kind of like met you halfway or, yeah, so you got the Two of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. This is definitely over here. A lot of earth energy, but a lot of groundedness, securing, secureness, being on the same wavelength, um, moving forward and actually putting in the effort, working towards it. That's a cool energy over there. All right, so show me the Six of Cups for how this person's feeling. So again with the Six of Cups, um, that's a very sweet friendship. If, if it's not, if there's been some type of separation or distance, um, you know, that's kind of like being in your presence, wanting to see you. And you got the Page of Swords. Uh, this is where almost like that tiptoe effect. It could be a younger water sign. It's a curious energy, but it's still one that's kind of like trying to figure things out. For some, it could be like reading your messages. Um, with the Justice card, oh, they're spying. Okay. They're trying to come back, but they're spying right now. Uh, for some, it's, it's like online, something online. For If there's a legal situation, um, there could have been like some setbacks or some delays around that. But also you have somebody that's spying here. It's like they're they're trying to figure out how to balance things, how to compromise it, how to make things right, especially if somebody had like options or choices or but there still feels like this this pullback over here as far as movement. The feelings are there though. 
it's more just one kind of watching. Show me this Empress for the outcome for Capricorn, please. You got the Knight of Pentacles. That's your energy. For some, something may get revealed around the situation here. Tell me more about this outcome for Capricorn. You're standing in your power. You're doing your damn thing. You got the Knight of Pentacles in the star. So basically what this is, uh, Aquarius energy, but... Both sides are holding on to hope, wanting to work towards this, but this is going to be a slow-moving energy. For instance, like a, a couple of reasons possible. Well, with the star here, let me just tell you, that's that's what we hope for, what we wish for. But when this Knight of Pentacles is there, it's the slowest moving night of the deck, so it does take a while. Um, but you know, uh, the Knight of Pentacles brings comes with that energy as a solid offer usually um, but it does feel like there's still a little bit of weight here so there could be like I said a legal situation that kind of holds things back for some you could be moving or traveling uh, and there's also possible for, like travel delays there as well it just feels like there there's still a little bit of hesitancy as far as like approaching you you may you kind of seem like you have it more together as far as what you want and how you want to move forward and then we have this energy over here who's curious and compromising feelings are definitely there but this is more just somebody who's like watching and maybe dealing with some things in their own in their own like situation possibly outside of this connection it doesn't look like they for some, it's like not really revealing the true feelings. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.